What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. And right now, we're going to be talking about Madden 24 and the fact that it's rumored that there will be no trade block. Now, a lot of you guys have been very, very upset about the fact that they removed it from Madden 23. Uh, we are currently going through that situation right now. So what happens with this, I just want to be very, very clear. EA Sports is probably like 2K looking to eliminate the, the coin sellers, but it's affecting the entire community. My personal opinion is this. I don't care about dudes trying to get their money or whatever they're doing, but EA Sports has made it very, very clear that they're cracking down on it and it's like terms of service and stuff like that. So if you choose to do it, that's your option, that's your choice, whatever. But they did put out a post on Twitter and when you clicked it, when they said that the trade block would not return uh, for Madden 23, all it did was tell you, don't buy coins, don't sell coins, don't promote, like everything was telling you to not do it. So it looks like that's what they're attacking for Madden 24. Now, let me just go ahead and explain to you guys why it's gonna be bad for the entire community and they may have to bring it back, all right? When the year first starts off, they're going to have a lot of different sets where you're going to need a lot of different cards, all right? And I spoke about this to you guys before, and a lot of you guys were like, yo, gee, how would we be able to get these rare cards if EA Sports were to take away the trade block, right? So look, I'm gonna tell you probably what they're going to do, and they're gonna do it in a fashion where we'll all be able to get the cards, but you're gonna have to probably spend money or grind the game and get certain packs or buy a lot of gold packs. All right, now look, let's take a look, for example, just pick a random uh, a random person, right? Like Glover Quinn, right? Let's say, for instance, you get you want to complete this set and like a card that's part of a different promo, like the headliners with Trey Lance, right? Let's say you can't find this card, but, but your friend has it. The way that we always did it in all the previous Maddens, going way, way back, like 25, whatever, bro. The Trey block has always been useful to us, right? Say you can't find Trey Lance, okay? No trade block in Madden 24. What, what's gonna happen is EA Sports is probably gonna put out those team related packs where it's all 49ers. I don't know if they're gonna keep Trey Lance though. I think they're gonna probably keep the other dude. But you know, just for now, he's still a Niner, right? They're gonna put out certain team packs like the, like the gold pack for all the teams. And you're gonna have to either use coins and keep buying it over and over again, or you're gonna have to gamble with certain other uh, pack collections inside of the actual uh, item manager the way they're going to have it like this right so what does that mean okay when you go over to program when you go to places like where's the other thing the core elites is not what we're looking for like core gold right and it's a 79 you're going to have to be in these sets now right now ea sports doesn't care about us so it's not popping up so we're gonna let me let me let me back out of it and come back in it's just really really buggy but you're going to have to use other parts of the game in order to get cards when your friend probably is going to pull like nine of the card that you want and in the past it'll just be easier if you could just trade that that, that gold now you're going to have to be sitting here doing this so you're going to be here right doing this over and over again as one of the options to be able to get cards because it's not like it's going to be impossible and remember this is one scenario on how it's going to affect negatively most of us that just look to grind the game complete sets and stuff like that this is one option right the next option is going to be in the store because we used to do this back in the day let me know if you guys ever completed like the silver master set with barry sanders what was that like madden 18 they had the gold master set let me know if you guys ever did it uh because it was it was a ve it was very very uh time intensive uh yo shout out to king robbie uh with the sub right there it was very no time inducing whatever it means when you're taking all your time bro you know you know what i'm talking about this is the thing right they may have theme team related packs where it can help you get the cards as one of the options early on. But you can see here, what is the one thing that's in common? It's all cash with the last part being training for just doing theme team, kicker, punter, fullback, fantasy packs. So it's gonna be an option for you to get those players, but you're gonna have to spend. The next thing that's gonna happen is this, right? Many of us are gonna end up starting to go back to the old school and buying those get a gold bundles and just getting a lot of these type things to be able to get those cards specifically for the sets that we need, all right? Yes, I know it's a lot more work, but EA Sports is not playing. And I'm telling you this right now, so everybody like thoroughly understands, my position is this, whatever they do, that's on them. I'm just like, yo, I love the fact that I could borrow cards, use it for a gameplay and give it back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love that option. Uh, doing giveaways for my viewers, um, the end of the year, for the last five years, G Myers World has given over like a ridiculous amount of millions of coins away to help people with rookie premieres. That's bad for me. 
for just giving back to the community for your support watching my videos riding with me all year all that stuff now i feel like i can't do anything like it's like how do i give back to you guys i guess we could still do things like you know like gift cards or whatever uh and then give it away but it's like it's it's a lot more involved when you have to do it like that and like getting people's information and all kind of stuff i don't i don't really like to do all that uh with the internet so it makes it very very difficult uh to deal with that so those are two ways that you can go about doing it and um you know figuring it out that way now this is the way that i want to tell you guys right now um if you do this you're probably going to get banned in madden 24 all right and this is not a joke this is not a drill if you try look certain cards are going to be overpriced right so let me I'm, I'm just gonna give you guys an example we're gonna go to 98 to 99 just to kind of give you guys an example and there's always a card that's really really priced wild like larry allen right nobody's gonna spend 2.41 million on larry allen so i want you guys to use your imagination it's gonna expire right now no you would have to be completely out of your mind to spend that kind of coin right people are going to be putting up some of the rare cards that are goals for those kind of prices now you guys remember larry foot how many of you guys remember larry foot that rare card that we were spending 400k for if you guys remember larry foot let me know right now that dude was going for like a minimum 400k and he was like a real trash card but you needed him to complete the set nobody got banned because i, I actually bought him for like 450k i still got the video up here on youtube right now when i completed that set i think that's like madden 18 or something right but nobody got banned but because of the you know the uprising of coin selling and stuff like that anything that looks weird ea sports just flags it and the computer automatically bans it all right so for no reason at all should you buy any overpriced gold cards silver cards or anything like that please use the other methods that i just showed you for madden 24 when it happens because you guys are going to be telling me that you're banned all i can do is refer you to at ea help and help.ea.com a lot of the people that were there that were helping you guys get your accounts unbanned ea sports fired them so we don't know what we're going into into the new year so i would urge you guys to just understand that anything that seems relatively you know high priced for, for whatever reason just don't buy it now there's one exception to that rule right i'm going to show you guys something really quickly it's sort of like this at certain points um it, you know in the year you'll see something like this right where a card is like yo why is he so highly priced and he went up and you're scared to buy it well this guy boosts the old line right and he's been constantly selling for above 1.4 things like this won't affect anything that's like an influx so what you're going to want to do when you click on it um a lot of a lot of times what happens right they're going to probably have to update what the you know like if you don't already have the card and you're going to list it for auction it doesn't tell you what it recently sold for they're going to have to give us more information that's going to be one of the things that they're going to have to do so that people don't get wrongfully banned because if you don't really know what it's going for and you put it up and somebody buys it and they ban you that's also wrong and it's a lot of different things that go into it but I, all i'm going to urge you guys to know is that when you overspend for any card even if it's a mistake the algorithm for which they detect will still ban you so overall madden 24 not having a trade block is going to really really negatively affect just the general community even though what they're trying to do is prevent coin selling and coin promotion and all that stuff like that so we'll see how it works we'll see how uh they work it but that's the rumor right now that madden 24 will not have a trade block let me know how that affects your opinion on getting the game i'm gonna see you guys and girls next time one love y'all